Rock and roll. Wow. I feel like the Ninja Turtles when they're about to go fight somebody. And then the music, that trippy 90s music is fun. <laughs> All right. Like that fucking Michael Bain What's up, everybody? Welcome to the Three Way Podcast. I'm Jerks, <laughs> and joining me today is the dynamic duo of JP, aka. I'll see you getting Linkster One Hundred One already mixed up. JP, aka Linkster One Hundred One, and the man with the legend, who apparently okay, JD. God damn it, JD. <laughs> <laughs> But welcome back to another exciting episode. Uh, let's jump into this one because, oh man, Ugh. hold on, message, <laughs> not sponsored. <laughs> and then we're going into gaming. <laughs> Game over. Lows down. Lows down. <laughs> All right, gaming. Uh, so this past week we got the Xbox Showcase. Twinkie yes. Twinkie, first party, some third party games shown. On their brand new, oh no, it wasn't on the brand new console. It was off a of PC. Anyways, so okay, first off, first off, this happened while I was at work, so I was off the internet. I was not on Twitter, mm-hmm. inter- Facebook, Instagram, yeah. uh, uh, what is it? Uh, MySpace, uh, Twitch, Snap, Twitch. I was off of everything, dude. I was blacked out from all the social media stuff. Boy, that was a hard. That was really hard. And then I was doing the bird box challenge when I when I was getting home, so I wouldn't get spoiled anywhere else. But anyways, I finally made it home, got on stream, did a, a watch along, a reaction video. Oh my god! All right, I don't know. Where do you guys want to start on this one? So let's just start off with with the the main thing that was not discussed was the console release date and how much it's going to be. They said now, they we're going to talk are- about hardware. That's yeah, one of the things they did say they were going to talk about. Correct. Now, the th- my issue with that is, hey, dude, November is like not that long from oh, here. Yeah, but they're like, not the only the ones. Fuck? PlayStation has didn't even said it either. I agree, but see, that's my yeah. issue. They're, they're they're playing cat, like cat and mouse with. They with really are at this point. I feel like they're both just trying to see. Like, they're playing the chicken reason. to see which one is going to get out of the way first and and put their date and the price on their console. Exactly. So we 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 have that mm-hmm. right. Then not only that, we have the issue. Hey Elias, can you can you mute this real quick? I'm gonna change headsets. <laughs> yeah, go ahead. If I do... Yeah, because I don't feel like people can hear me. Oh. <laughs> we can hear you, unfortunately. Yeah, we're here just fine. <laughs> <laughs> but I, okay, while he's doing that, I do want to talk about the beginning of the showcase where, right off the bat, we do see Halo Infinite, and we see Halo Infinite's like you know main screen. We're here to play some Halo. I felt like I was about to go grab my controller. It's like, oh shit, they're doing the X Cloud thing. Let me go grab my controller so I can play. But no, it was, you know, obviously it was it wasn't. But it, so they played the game. In the beginning, it looked really cool. I, I do enjoy that character that they have right now, the one that found him in space. I forgot his name, but he seems pretty interesting. I like how like I like the animations in the face and the facial expressions that they, they've created for him. I, I think it looks phenomenal. Um, okay, then, so and then let, let me start off with JP that. wants to come back in here and talk about something. Yeah, <laughs> uh-huh. why start off with Halo? Yeah, that's what I was about to too. say. I was like, you probably should have saved Halo to the end. And if anything, yeah, they, if anything, you should have popped off with like maybe some standard decay three being revealed, correct? And maybe I don't know, maybe jump into Fable, which is one of the revealed ones. But Fable, which, if they want to start off with Fable, yeah. oh lord, it would. Killed. It would have killed, and then you would have had Halo at the end. Mm-hmm. Now, go ahead, Elias. Go ahead. Well, yeah, like, like what they showed. So, Fable, Fable was one of the games they showed at the end of the, this this showcase. But the thing is, like, Fable has already been kind of like leaked to shit. <laughs> you know, everybody kind of already knew that it was going to come out. So when 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 it was finally revealed, it was kind of lackluster. And which is like kind of my thing, which is something I always say, like, I don't like being spoiled on these things. Don't give me spoiler. Like if, if it's something I really care about, don't spoil it for me. I don't care. But unfortunately, like that game, pff, like spoiled to shit. <laughs> yeah. But anyways, so we get we get Halo in the beginning. Uh, let, let's talk about Halo Infinite. What did you guys think about Halo Infinite? OK, so let's start off with what one of my biggest issue is. And I mentioned it to J.D., while this was going on, the graphics looked like Halo 3, Halo 4 era. 
uh, just horrible in my opinion. Now, there are some people commenting like, oh, it's because you have a shitty ass computer. Or, oh, it's because uh, you're talking shit through your, your cell phone. And of course, it's going to look like shit in your cell phone. Could be. Could be. We know that they, they're teamed up with Unreal. So maybe I'm just, I'm overreacting. But from what I saw, that looked no, like I was playing uh, Halo. Halo Infinite is on its own uh, brand new engine. It's called Slip Space. Uh, it's, okay. it's, one, it's one that 343 designed. Then it's not a good one from what I saw. Maybe they're going to update it. It looks like it needs a lot more tuning and graphic wise. I'm serious, guys. If you guys go look at Halo 4, y'all see the difference. It looks almost exactly the same. I expected more. I expected more. Actually, now as far let me let me let me jump in this one about the graphics. Um, my theory is, did you see how they have the map now? It's not really linear as the story now. Mm-hmm. Like you kind of go anywhere on the map. Like the map is huge, and you can set waypoints. It's open world. Yeah, it's mm-hmm. this semi open world, but you there you can set waypoints. You can go here. You can go there. Yeah. yeah. And then they did mention that they were going to continue making like working on this Halo for like a long ass time. What is it, like ten years maybe? Uh, they don't look like it. <laughs> my my theory is the reason behind why it doesn't look like it's lifelike. You know what I mean? Like it doesn't look like he's about to jump yeah. out of the screen. It's because it's gonna be more or less a lived in world where you will see other players in that world. So when when you're loading that type of information into a game, you can't. You kind of have to sacrifice some things, regardless if it's like on a brand new console or a PC. So I'm assuming. They're kind of going down on the fidelity for the for the graphics only because they're going to they're going to have it to where like you can have your friends playing on the same world doing different shit and like and like do missions together and whatnot. But you can also have it where it's kind of like the destiny thing where you jump onto a planet and then you see other players there that are not playing with you. I feel that's kind of like where they're going with this, especially since they're trying to do something new with Halo. How like. It just the main story is Master Chief. Like that's right. the story. Mm-hmm. I, it, that wouldn't make sense to me. But let, let, let's talk about gameplay. Gameplay. Oh, come on now. I well, enjoyed that. Well, it, it, brought, it, it would probably make sense, like in terms of like having more Spartans available. So, like in their world, you'll you you won't be Master Chief. You know what I mean? But in in your world, you are. You know, it's just. Uh, I mean, I don't know. Just ideas and theories. I think that'd be kind of yeah. kind of cool if it was like that. Yeah. But uh, I don't know. I mean, we still need to see more about this game. We, I haven't. I, I'm, I'm curious about the multiplayer, and um, I mean, I don't know. Uh, well, what were you gonna say? Well, JD said that in his screen it looked good. I mean, so what did you see, JD? You said I mean, to me, it looked it looked clear, it looked crisp, it looked like it was. You know, I mean, again, it didn't it didn't look realistic, and I'm not expecting it to. It's a video game. I don't want to be. I want realistic. Then I go into a VR game. Well, you know, actually, regular, regular... I, I did. I'm sorry. I did hear about the the live stream when it was initially shown. That there was choppiness in the gameplay and the video itself, um, I didn't hmm. I didn't see any of that only because like Me I, said, I, I didn't watch it originally when it when it was first. I saw debuted. a little choppiness. I saw I saw the the 4K 60 frames whatever on YouTube. It, I thought it looked great. It looked smooth. Like I didn't see yeah. I, I didn't see any problems hmm. like with the graphics or anything. But yes, like just some of the model graphics are where like some of the problems are gonna like you can see like regardless if it regardless if it's choppy or not but i don't know i mean honestly like i was telling jp earlier it's like it feels like they're kind of going the a la, uh force awakens route where it's something different but yet the same and and i honestly i'm okay with that i'm okay with kind of like a soft reboot for halo because i didn't like where they were going with the story mm-hmm. and I'm, yeah me neither <laughs> and so for this one i'm curious to see what they're gonna do how is it gonna play out it's supposed to be like what three years after the halo 5 i believe yeah, after the fall. Yeah. So I don't know. Uh, what, what do you guys have to have for Halo? Yeah, I, I'm not with you guys. When I first when it, when I first saw it up, I was like, oh my god, we're going back to the original Halo days. You know, where where you you know you drop in and you're taking on Covenant, and so it, it would be interesting. I mean, it would be interesting to see. see to hopefully, get some more backstory on what who these uh these uh what, what, I can't remember what the name of the, the new guys are called the, the new Covenant. Yeah, um, but not, they they look like Bruce, but there's something else. I forget what they're called. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, but I mean, I, I mean, yeah, it was. And get, granted, looking at those brutes, I hope they're gonna be a little tougher than that because those guys went down really easy, you know. But um, yeah, like you know, it was. I like I like a lot of some of the new advantages too. That the grappling hook, I think, yeah, was, it was awesome. You, you know, really thought up, so? Yeah, I thought the grappling hook was like a little okay because the gameplay itself was very very smooth. The gameplay itself was very Halo. It what says it is Halo. Yeah, but very like 
straightforward to the point, badass guns. Let me show you this. Nostalgic. Uh, everything's running the same. The only thing I did not like is when they shoot him. Like the shield, his visor gets all yellowy. Mm, I don't like that. That's a real well, that's, like that. that's, that's how it's always been. <laughs> yeah. No, usually it, it lights up. It doesn't go yellow. Your shield definitely did reach in a lot faster than it yeah. used to. So that's definitely nice. Yeah. But, they, I mean, probably, I, I, they probably had on easy mode, bro. Let's face it. Yeah, that might have been yeah. trash. <laughs> well, mm. uh, apart from that, um, the actual, like everything else outside of everything looks smoother as far as yeah. gameplay. Um, oh, what do you think about the as, hook? Oh, well, the the, the grapple gun. The grapple gun thing, yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. The grapple gun. I, I just felt it was out of place. <laughs> yeah, I'm kind of curious like, how they're gonna the they're gonna this? work that in because he didn't have it in the last game. When did yeah. he have a chance to get upgraded and modified? You know, I know, like, no, like, like when he did it. And modified, what you mean? I thought it was cool yeah. if if he would have been grappling like like if he would have grappled like a uh, uh, like a little. Thing coming at him with the little grunts the grunt. coming at him yeah. with like with like grenades and he grabs them and he throws them. I thought that would have been better. I, I, don't I, know. Did, I, I did like the kamikaze grunt though. That was hilarious. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, <laughs> yeah. Other than that, it was very nostalgic, yeah. very Halo. I just my only issue is your graphics. Work on your graphics, guys. Y'all still have some time. <laughs> they were like Work they were saying that, that uh, it's still it's still in progress. We're still working on it. Uh, every week we're seeing new updates. I'm like, bro, your release date is coming up really quick. What do you mean? So really quick. <laughs> yeah. Like I said, Xbox. Uh, to me, Xbox is falling off. I, I would explain after we go over other games. So let's go ahead. That, that was Halo. But, uh, and Halo was. But Halo, good 90, honestly, 90, like minutes. the other thing too that I did not like about Halo is that they weren't running it on the Xbox Series X. Everything they showed was running on a PC, my dude. You try to like at this point, it's like, why even get an Xbox? Just why do you even get an Xbox? Just get a PC because exactly. everything's gonna be on the PC. Like exactly. And yeah. and then, I was literally talking about this right before the show, guys. I, I'm yeah. going to spend possibly 700 on on the Xbox and 700, 800, 900 on the PlayStation Five. Why? <laughs> what for? Because if I can combine that amount, I might as well just invest on a PC and just wait a couple of a little bit while before the, yeah. the games come out at a cheaper price. Yeah. I don't understand. Why they okay? They showed Halo, and then they had an emphasis throughout this whole showcase on Game Pass, and Game Pass is for fucking PC, like literally, and you can play it anywhere. So right after Halo, they showed, they talked about Game Pass, and how you can take this anywhere. I'm not really sure how it's gonna work because specifically with uh, Stadia, uh, Stadia, it did, it did not work. It did not work with Stadia, right? Uh, so I don't know, J JD. What did you find out about that Game Pass? Because I know you and Elias have have PC. So what do y'all feel about Game Pass for Xbox? I'm, mm -hmm. Go ahead. No, no, no. Go ahead. Um, I mean, I, honestly, I think it's a good idea uh, as long as it keeps the cross-play compatibility. Uh, uh, that's okay, that's okay. the big thing. I mean, that's that's what I'm kind of hoping that this Game Pass is going to do. Because again, they're going to have people who don't want to play on PC. They want to play on their on their Xbox. Mm -hmm. People who want to play on a, on a PC, but the, you know. Uh, vice versa. So, but the you know having friend, those kind of friends, and you want to play along together, being able to play along with each other, that should make this a little bit more easier to do if everything's going to work on both systems. Yeah, that's true. We'll have to wait and see. You know. Uh, I mean, Elias, they, you're going to get it. They're getting rid of the the gold subscription service. Yeah. They're they're going to go to just Game Pass service. Uh, I'm surprised we didn't get a new name for the X Cloud yet. Know, and it's going to be monthly. Know, it's going to be monthly. I know X Cloud is coming to Game Pass Ultimate in September. Uh, that's going to be kind of cool to see how it works out with everybody actually being able to use it for those uh, Game Pass Ultimate subscribers. But at this point, honestly, Game Pass Ultimate is probably the best bet. It's only 15 bucks a yeah. month. Um, you can get a year pass, whatever, I think on a lower ch a rate or something. I'm not sure how it works. But um, I mean, honestly, it just feels like they were really just trying to sell you on the Xbox Game Pass. Because everything they've shown, for the most part, minus like the third-party games, available on Game Pass day one. Available on Game Pass, you can you can play this on PC, you can play this on the console. Exactly. I'm just like, at this point, it's like, well, I get an Xbox. <laughs> I mean, yeah. I, I still want to get it because I stream, and I'm, I kind of want to have an, app, an Xbox, as you know, for for the cloud. <laughs> but like, <laughs> like I, I I I still want it, but as a regular everyday consumer that doesn't stream, just plays games either casually or like just like playing with their friends for fun or whatever uh i wouldn't get it right away i would get a, a I, honestly i probably wouldn't even give it a ps5 right away either 
because they're already talking about like what what is coming up for that system right away like what's coming out day one uh they haven't already talked about it and then i believe only a certain few of their current games are going to be available on ps5 so that's a whole different thing but anyways we let's continue here on the showcase and see and talk about one of my favorite games that i saw not only here but i think they showed it last year too at e3 is the medium the medium yes the medium looks so cool i'm into those like psychological scary thrillers, yeah scary this one is about what a medium who who can see in between the two worlds of the living and the dead i guess but yeah. the really great and interesting thing about this one is that you're actually living in both worlds at the same time and yeah. apparently you have the ability to, to shift in between both worlds as they're being generated. And like for those watching on the YouTube side, you can see the video of the two worlds right now in like, I think that's really innovative. That's new. And I think that's yeah. something really cool to be able to play through. Uh, what'd you guys Correct. think about medium? So let me start off by saying that uh, for all those people ha- saying that I hate women or like, I, I, I want to <laughs> play this game. So shut the fuck up. All right. I, I, li- I like Claire Redfield. I like Jill. I like Resident Evil type of games, and I, and this this to me seems very interesting. Like you said, he has two worlds, um, and and one of them she has powers, another one she's just normal human. Uh, I just can't wait to see what it's about. It looks very scary. So it looks like one of those games where you turn off all the lights and it's just you drinking and playing <laughs> this game. So I, that's what I'm gonna do. But I'm very that's one of the games I'm interested in outside of Halo. Uh, but what did you think about it, uh, uh, JD? Well, when I first saw it, I noticed my first thought was, "Oh, look, it's a, it's a, was it a Stranger Place? Or was it one where the girl could the upstairs things, 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 things or Silent Hill? Yeah, the, 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 that one where she kept, you know, taking pictures and then going back in time and shit like that. I thought that's what it was, a second version of that. But actually, it looks really cool. I think the whole concept of being in two different worlds at the same time and then rendering out at the same time is is uh, excellent. That's, that's definitely a new concept that I think we're going to see. But I, I was going to wait to see how it actually plays out first. True. But again, it's a new concept. Let's see if it actually works. They didn't show much gameplay. They didn't really show no, much it was, gameplay. No, it was, all, it was all trailer kind of. So it really wasn't a whole lot of gameplay on that no, one. They so. didn't show too much, but they did show enough to just see the two worlds like bending yeah. into each other. So I thought that was interesting. So yeah, let's, see reminded, how it, let's see how it plays out. Yeah. It reminded me of Lord of the Rings Shadow of Mordor, the, the, uh, <laughs> the other oh, side. Way back, way yeah. back. Uh, one, of the, <laughs> one of the other games, which actually I was kind of confused about only because I thought they already announced this is already out in Japan or something. It was called Crossfire X, but apparently what, what is already out is the multiplayer. Now here is only a single player story where, uh, I believe what, what studio, what, which one of their studio, I think it was Remedy is working on this one. Yeah. Remedy is working on this one. And honestly, it, it looked like, okay, another cod clone here we go but man did it look good dude i was like all right this one actually looks like it's you next really gener- like this one i'm, this next I'm gonna be honest and i was like all right I'll, I'll see what's up with it i'm gonna be honest this this trailer disappointed me just mm-hmm. because of the fact that I thought, <laughs> I thought it was another splinter cell game damn it i was like yes splinter cell you sons of bitches no, actually i saw i saw the armor <laughs> suit that guy had and i was like oh shit they're bringing yeah. back crisis I was like, oh, yeah, I thought so too. too. That thought was thought also was something crisis. had the splinter cell too. That, yeah. the, the, the whole he- headset and everything like that. When he said blacklist, I was like, oh yeah. It was like, no, it's crossfire. Son of a okay, it looks, it looks pretty cool though. I mean, it looks it looks interesting. I mean, I think it's gonna be kind of interesting to see it, uh see how, how it goes. Uh, I definitely want to play that. I, I love these kind of first person shooter campaign games, so I think it'll be interesting to see uh no, where, where I, they take it. I was going to say that outside of all, almost all the games that I saw on on, on the Xbox showcase. This game graphically looked pretty up to par. Yeah. The gameplay that they showed was pretty amazing. Um, to me, like, I'm not even interested in these type of games, mm-hmm. like Call of Duty type of games, but yeah. I, even I was like, man, I think I'm going to get it. Like, out of the whole showcase, uh, this right here took me by surprise. I was like, wow. And, like, the suit, how he looks, how it changes everything. Like, I, I yeah. am going to buy this game just on seeing what I saw. Um so this game was not a disappointment to me. Um, it was a quite a surprise outside of all the other shit we saw. Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, uh, actually, let's move on to another one here. Uh, this one, I, I right now I want to say it's not for me, but I think it will have an audience. Uh, so, of, of course, Obsidian being another uh, game developer that was bought up by Microsoft, uh, one of the people who worked on Fallout 3 New wow. Vegas... They, they they worked on uh was it the outer worlds uh and right now they have another game called uh i believe it's uh grounded i think they're the one working on grounded 
But anyways, this one, <laughs> it's kind of funny though, because the internet's like, this one kind of looks like a clone for the Elder Scrolls series. <laughs> yeah, no, <laughs> it does not. That's so, what I was thinking too. So, uh, Avowed, Obsidian's new game. Uh, yes. I, so for me, like I said, I'm not really into Skyrim. I'm not into Fallout. I'm not into those type of games. I think they're boring and lifeless looking, but yet they're super <laughs> popular. This one, I was kind of like, hey, w- wait, is that color in the game? What? Yes, bro. Is that actual color? Like not just like a, a bland gray looking pla- uh, palette from like Call of Duty to early 2000s, like Modern Warfare <laughs> series. Like, holy crap. I'm like, hey, bro. All right, I'm kind of down. Like yeah. one of the one of the worst gaming experiences I had in my life was watching Lowe's play uh, Skyrim Elder Scrolls, where you're talking <laughs> about that great platform. Oh Lord Jesus, have mercy! I was like, <laughs> fuck this game, uh, never, never, never. But seeing this game, this because it's, it's mostly it was trailer. It wasn't really a lot of gameplay. They showed like one small part. Yeah, it has color, it has life, and it has potential. I honestly, I'm into like swords. I, I like, uh, you know, um, Dragon Age, mm-hmm. uh, yeah. things like that. And and this this looked really cool. And then when the sword pops up and he's doing all this magic here, his sword lights up. Yeah, he was doing like Doctor like, Strange magic. I was like, ooh, yeah. let's let's get it, let's get it. It reminded me of Bioshock in a way mm-hmm. when he when. So I'm I'm pumped for it. I am probably gonna get that game. I'm really excited to see more gameplay. I want to see more gameplay. They didn't show too much, yeah. which is fine, but I want to see more gameplay. I think they just wanted to see if people were going to like it. But from what I saw on Twitter, uh, on YouTube, a lot of people are talking about this game. And saying yeah, it's very, very I, I'm interested, so. dude. A hundred percent, I'm interested. Like, yeah. it, like I said, I don't like those other games because I feel they're so like, like we're first of all they're all single player. And like for me, I always said like those games are for people that live in their mom's basement, have no friends, and just <laughs> want to live in a dark like gray oh, world. Oh, motherfucker! Like because because it, it just feels so lifeless, but yet like there's so much to do, quote hey, unquote. Hey, hey. I still and, played it when I didn't live in my mom's basement. All right. <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> but this one I was like, wait, is that actual colors? Like holy crap! I'm like, all right, yeah. I'll give it a shot. But uh, one of the other games, uh, uh, this is a new IP as well from the creators of Steam World, which I've never heard of. Uh, comes the gunk, uh, <laughs> the, the gunk, the gunk, the one where they now, got, had the vacuum. It looked kind of <laughs> stupid. Where she's like, "Call me vacuum in. Like yeah. it was just stupid. Um, <laughs> like Luigi's World trying to be Resident Evil. That character is like a, a mix between what's that one character with the arm? A uh, Bionic Commando. Uh, oh yeah, and and the DJ from uh, Overwatch, I forgot his name, Lucio. <laughs> I'm like, what? Yeah. Like, what? I don't get it. But you know what though? When I saw this game, but actually, when I just talking about the whole thing overall, the whole event, it it made me realize like how how much Xbox is really trying, or Microsoft is really trying to let its developers do its own thing without do getting, its own thing without yeah. getting in the way. Don't be yeah. like, look, right now the thing that everybody the wave the 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 one where everything everybody likes is seriousness with a slight of humor uh you know it be creative but like hold it in and don't go too like like different from what everybody likes like i kind of see what they're doing with that like they want to go and let them do their own thing hopefully one of these new ips that they're creating like from the ground up is gonna hit is gonna be a banger and it's gonna have a fan base to grow from like i get it it's just like for me right now not seeing very much of these games each one that they they showed like it's kind of like bogging it down like that those like feelings of like oh shit i gotta get this game Oh shit! I gotta get an Xbox for this game. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. like I understand what they're trying to do, and I appreciate that, that they're trying to do that. But like, right now, when you're trying to win your quote unquote console wars, like it's not helping you trying to be completely different and uh, like just not following the same path that kind of like like PlayStation is. Because I, I I've been saying this that PlayStation games like right now PlayStation feels more like the Marvel universe where they're like <laughs> <laughs> they're like. No, 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 wait, stick with me here. They're, they're like, they're like, they're like, like okay to watch. They're like fun to watch with their serious moments, but then they have oh, their quirky, they have their quirky, funny moments where their characters are like lovable and really relatable. And like, yeah. I feel like that's how they they are with their games. Like, it just feels like that. On top of that, PlayStation is not like going away from their past games. I mean, they keep b- busting out games with Uncharted, uh, Ratchet and Clank, 
uh who, who else was there uh there's another freaking crash bandicoot but that's everybody though and then i mean they're they're just adding on top of like these games are already like beloved and like that that's why i kind of feel like it's kind of like the marvel universe but xbox on the other hand they they don't want to do that they want to do their own thing and like it just i don't know i don't know if it's gonna work out for them that that's how i'm just gonna be like oof because we'll there's too many twitter trolls out there just like what the fuck do y'all have halo <laughs> gears forza halo what else do y'all have i'm like i don't know bro i just like everything but yeah microsoft i don't know we'll see well i mean we'll see if these games will work out like especially the new ips that are just been like re uh revealed here uh one thing i did not <laughs> like though that they just showed um, uh it's just let me get into this one and then you can go why would you show a fucking trailer for tetris effect <laughs> Why? Okay. No, 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 no. Yeah. Let's, let's get into it. Let's get into it. Okay. First off, one of my issues, like, like my issues with game, uh, Xbox game show was like uh, showcase, whatever. Uh, they were showing fucking Netflix shows. Like, oh, they show this, this like this trailer for a game where like these two twins go back in time and oh, their mom. Like, yeah. It was so fucking That's, stupid. That it was, was like, an, that was an indie developer who was a part of. What was the name of the other company? The the ones that make Heavy Rain. She was a part yeah. of that company, and then she and then, she, like, she branched off to do her own thing, which is that game. Oh, let me see. Yeah, if I can well, find it's, that a, it's a it's a horrible game. It's gonna die. And then like <laughs> then we have this. Then I I'm seeing like this stupid ass song like being played, and like you see like people like oh, <laughs> and I'm like what the fuck is going on? And then like the concept is cool. Don't get me wrong, the concept is cool. I would play this game. You gotta put better music. I don't want to hear no. No Taylor like Swift songs. Oh, uh, she's releasing a new album too, bro. You and, excited? And I don't give a shit. And only idiots are gonna yeah. buy it. So <laughs> I mean, J JD was hyped up for it. So I don't want to kill JD's hype. I'm, so, I mean, I'm I'm actually I'm hyped for a Tetris game. I think it's it's good that it's actually come to a, come to different consoles and it, and the fact that it's more multiplayer friendly than the previous ones. Like I mean, you had Doctor Mario, you had iterations of that. That was fine. But this is more of a you know you got three people playing on the same map helping each other out versus just, you know, trying to defeat each other. That's, that's kind of a fun thing too, but I think it also has like a, a versus mode as well. So you can play against other people. So I think, uh, yeah, again, I know mean, Tetris is a time honored game. You know, it's one of the first, it came yeah. out with the, with the uh, yeah, Game Boy. Right. I mean, I remember spending hours trying to beat that freaking game. Yeah. But I mean, that, that's fine. <laughs> oh, that, 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 like, that other one, that one you were talking about, the one that looks yeah, like Netflix it's, show. To be, it's called Ass Dusk Falls. Yeah. Ass Dusk Falls. Like it was just so, oh my God, dude. Like, I literally was like, what the fuck is this? I'm, I'm here to play fucking video games, not watch a fucking movie. If you yeah. want to make a game like that, just fucking promote it to Netflix and make a fucking show out of it. I don't want to yeah, watch that shit. I really had no idea what that game was about. I'll be I, honest. I, I, mean, feel I, like, I, I, it's... I feel like that game is for people that are really into comic books. And it kind of feels like one of those comic books come to life kind of video games. <laughs> Um, Bro, it looks, it I, looks like I, I like I liked Heavy Rain. I liked Detroit Become Human. I like those games. This one though, I don't know. Like, how would you play it? Like, I, I'm curious how the gameplay is. Like, is it all just quick time yeah. events? Like, I don't understand. I, 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 I don't know. Like, like I said, I, I was just very much disappointed. A lot disappointed with a lot of the games that they showed. Mm -hmm. uh, I remember, like, I remember I was watching it on YouTube and I was looking at the comments. And some guy's like, man, am I here to see Netflix uh, follow-up lineups? Or I'm here to see games? <laughs> and I'm like, yeah, he's, he's right. Like, what the fuck? Like, I'm yeah. not here to see fucking shows. So that was another game where I was like, whatever. But there was one that I, I, I don't know. It's a little weird that I like it, but hopefully they show more, which is Everwild. I thought Everwild mm -hmm. had a good presentation. Um, they didn't show too much uh, of gameplay, but I thought Everwild was... And it's, it's done by Rare, so Rare has yeah, good, rare. good games. Yeah. So, I mean, you know, I actually enjoyed the trailer, and I, I look forward to it. I don't know if you recall that that, that specific trailer, uh, JD. Uh, I might have blacked it out, because I don't remember this one. <laughs> <laughs> it's the one where, like, walking around uh, Sim Simba's kingdom, and they have animals with them. And they look like a bunch yeah. of hippies, like t uh, getting high. Around oh, yeah, high. yeah, that's right. Yeah. Yeah. I, mean, I definitely blacked that one out. <laughs> they were doing magic. They were doing magic. But uh, that was one where I was interested in. Now, guys, we've mentioned Halo. We've mentioned Medium, Avowed, Fable, Everwild on my part, uh, uh, Game Pass. One of my other issues with uh, the showcase outside of the Netflix trailers and putting Halo first um, was, guys, let Destiny 2 die. Just let it die. 
it's over. It's done. I like playing Destiny 2, but it's too repetitive. They're like, oh, we're promoting all this content, and it's going to be available for Xbox One, uh, Xbox Series X the moment it comes out. And all, her, like, her. let that shit die. Let it die. Yeah, there's nothing oh. really new about it. I mean, there's it's just, it's Destiny all over again. It's and then Destiny it's just... 2 Beyond Light, a brand new expansion coming out soon. But you play the dark. <sighs> Dude, like, I, I think I think they're gonna actually. I think they're gonna develop. They're developing a new engine for the Destiny Two engine, for a Destiny Two game. I think that's what they're trying to like allude to, if I'm not mistaken. Like, yes, it's gonna be like compatible with Xbox Series X, uh, cross save. They need cross play. Cross yeah. cross save is fine for now. Um, I they, just, I, 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 just I think they're gonna. I, I feel like they're gonna do that to where they're gonna upgrade the engine to where it's like it looks prettier. Because I mean, Destiny has always looked cool. Like I always thought Destiny looked good. Yeah. And then no, yeah, yeah, Destiny yeah. Two looked good. Like imagine um, what Bungie's trying to do, where they're trying to do it, where it. it I, I I feel like in the end they're they're probably gonna drop the two and just call it Destiny something. You know what I mean? And just continue building off of that, which is what they originally they wanted to do, but because of, yeah. they were owned by Activision at the time, they couldn't do it. But now they're on, they're independent. I think that's the the way they're gonna go. Yeah, because originally they said they were just going to do one game mm-hmm. and ten years of DLCs. Yeah, and that was that was how they were going to do the do the whole situation. And now it's just been Destiny and then yeah. Destiny Two, and it's like, okay. I mean, they lost me when it came to Destiny Two. I mean, I played it a little bit, but it it, it kind of lost me almost as a fan, just because. Mm-hmm. Here you go. And we're going to put a second game, even though we said we weren't going to. You know, so it's yeah, like that's true. Uh, 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 let it die. Let it die. <laughs> but. Uh, uh, yeah. uh, but overall, what do you what do you guys think of the, about the showcase here? PlayStation Five One. Uh, I I put down the games that I liked <laughs> on Xbox, which was Crossfire X, Halo, Medium, Avowed, Fable, and Everwild, which is it's about six games. Uh, we're talking about the PlayStation uh, 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 showcase. They had Starfield, The Little Devil Inside, Ghostwire, Resident Evil Eight. They had Horizon Forbidden think- West. Ghost uh, Spider-Man, some Miles those, Morales, a lot of those Godfall. Games are, some of those games are going to be cro- uh, with all platforms. I think Ghostwire is one of them. Co- co- correct, but but still, show me more. You, you didn't even show Cyberpunk. Uh, you didn't even show show me more. And they mm-hmm. did. They said they were going to show more. But why mm-hmm. are we having so many showcases, guys? Like, because we don't have any three. Everybody was complaining about well, E3. Now that we don't have any three, it's like. Yeah, this is what you want. Yeah. You also have to remember this is what you want. You want, you, you want videos to come out every yeah. every once in a while when you don't know when the once in a while is going to be. Like I, I didn't never yeah. liked it, but people wanted to do it, and this is what happens. No, and you, have I'm, short attention span nowadays. They have yeah. to do that kind of thing, you know. You can't put well, it all. We talked on, about it. Time, you know? We talked about it. This was the year we yeah. were going to see, and I, honestly, I, I I prefer E3. I'm sorry, guys. I prefer yeah. E3. Show me everything all at once, so I can have excitement for the rest of the year mm-hmm. uh you know as far as um this little cat, cat and mouse game with playstation 5 i do not like that i despise that with a passion have some fucking balls if people like your console <laughs> they're gonna buy it but they're killing themselves xbox is shooting themselves in the foot oh yeah we have all this but it's it's a uh, multi-platform or it's uh it's uh cross play or they're like oh um you can get it on p on pc like five days after like what the fuck? Stop shooting yourself in the foot. You're trying to sell your console. It's gotten to the point where I don't want to buy Xbox. I don't even want to buy PS5. Like I said, I'd rather just invest in, it on, in a PC. Like, this is ridiculous. Yeah. You're trying to sell your product, and they're just underselling it. It makes no sense to me. But you have to remember also, Microsoft is not just a console. They're also, they've been a computer company for years. So, mm-hmm. you know, they, they, keeping it keeping with their old, old uh, de- faction of people and pulling in the new faction of people with Xbox, you know, I mean, Xbox, yeah, it's been around for what, over 15 years now. Yeah. But it's still, you know, it's still, I mean, Microsoft has been a, strictly a software computer company for over that for over 30 years now. Yeah. So, I mean, it, it, yeah, it's, but it, you know, uh, uh, Xbox came out when I was about 11, 12 years old. It's been out for about 20 years, 20 years. Yeah. That's, that's not chump change. That, that's 20 years. And no one thought there because remember when Halo came out, with Xbox, everybody thought it was going to be a bust, and it turned out to be an amazing game on an amazing system. And then that's how they stuck. Like you, Xbox is essentially at this point in time just trying to please everybody, and that's the thing. That's yeah. what people in this stupid ass world don't understand. You cannot please everybody. So you know, to me, I'm sorry. PlayStation Five, their showcase was a lot more. Uh, uh, 
spread out and also inclusive, very yeah. dimensional on their system. Only for PlayStation, Xbox was like, we have all this, but nah, don't worry, you can get it at PC or or yeah. you can multiplayer. Like it doesn't make sense to me. Mm-hmm. Uh, I mean, I don't know what you think. Elias. For me, I feel the conference was kind of a letdown, but at the same time, I really didn't have a lot of expectations. Um, because I didn't, I didn't have high expectations only because I already felt like it wasn't going to be like all that amazing. Now, the thing where it really just like, for me, it went from like, eh, that was like a seven out of 10 to like a five out of 10 was the fact that this shit was shown on a PC. Like, why the fuck aren't you playing yeah. these games on your fucking on Xbox? X. Mm-hmm. Like, oh my God, like, bro, that, that, that is the worst thing you can do. Like. The whole time we were watching the PS5 conference, they're like, uh, right now this is running on a PS5. So I'm like, okay, cool. This is how it looks. This is how it runs. It looks great. Awesome. Xbox. Uh, this is shown on the PC. Early build. <laughs> it will come out later. Oh, my God, bro. Uh, like I said, fuck? I don't... Why? I don't know who... I don't know who's on their sales marketing team. Uh, whoever's there and who has a degree is a motherfucking moron, <laughs> an idiot. Uh, he deserves to be shot and just dragged out on the streets and never heard from again because he's a horrible salesperson. You cannot sell your product under another pr- – like it makes no sense. You're uh, you're basically undercutting yourself, J.D. I'm sorry, yeah. J.D. I know you, 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 you're, you're a computer company. I get it. But if, if I'm marketing a fucking phone, I'm not going to say, oh, all this hardware is running on this phone, this other phone, not the phone that I'm trying to promote. It just doesn't yeah. make sense to me. Well, I mean, if you're if you're going to promote it promote it for PC, you need to say, hey, this is going to run a lot better on an Xbox, though. You know, and, and if you can do that, if you can do that, you know, I don't think they can because PC, PC has the best graphics. So I, don't think I, I mean, I have I have one I have one final question to ask. Does it make me a bad person that when on that gunk game when the flower formed up that it didn't reach out and smack her? I was kind of expecting that. <laughs> what? I don't I don't remember that? that? that, that gunk? Yeah, well, remember? Yeah, remember the gun was tr- turned into kind of like a, a flower with a single p- uh, petal. You know, and I was expecting to do like a like a half life thing where I reach out and just smack the crap out of her. I do right before wow. the right before the right before the beast showed up. So look, uh, <laughs> like I was telling JD and and, and jerks, uh, this this showcase shows me that PlayStation Five is is still winning. Yeah, um, that's been laid down. Oh, they definitely should not have put right. Halo in first. But yeah. Let's move on here. That was long in the tooth. Uh, just some quick notes on gaming. <laughs> Rock League going free to play. Ubisoft still having issues. Uh, I believe just really quick on Ubisoft, uh, Ubisoft PR director Stone Chin has been yeah. fired allegedly as part of the publisher's attempt to address its toxic work culture. But mm. um, I do want to talk about that later. Uh, I think we could probably talk about that next week. But the thing about Ubisoft, too, is that at this point, they need to get rid of the head of the Ubisoft uh, company. No, even only, in, even only because he knew about those things, but he, he let it go because that was the work culture and they were making him money. So he was like, okay, even let it go. Even the Ubisoft, Ubisoft in Quebec, the ma- the manage uh, director, she stepped down too. Yeah. It seems she's trying to act like she it wasn't related to this. It was a, a result of long reflect reflection, and and I don't think so. I, I'm not buying that bullshit. I think a lot of the upper heads of I Ubisoft think a lot of them need to go, especially Eves. yeah, they're I think, go. I think his name is Eves, the guy who runs Ubisoft. Like you knew, bro. Like don't act stupid. But anyways, that 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 for sure. I just wanted to bring that up just to let you guys know that. Yeah. Uh, like Ubisoft needs to get their shit together and they, they need to fire more people anyways. Uh, and also in gaming, just to close it out, PS five pre-orders, uh, will be limited. I think it's one per person. And I think they're making per household per household. Oh, household. Per household, yeah. Per household. Per household. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that makes sense though. Yeah. That's smart. Yeah. I mean, honestly, I'm okay with that. I don't. I'm, I'm probably gonna be the only one getting one in my house. <laughs> I mean, to be honest, look at look at what happened when they did the the Nintendo remasters and people brought up they brought that out and people just bought those in bulk yeah, and, and sold they them. Sold them. Yeah, yeah. So. I don't mind it, dude. You know, if you're gonna yeah. if you if you, if you if you live in a house with more than one person that you know is gonna play, you know, just tell your neighbor, hey, I'm gonna put my, your house as uh, you know what I'm saying, where I'm gonna get or my, your grandma's my house. Shit. Yeah, yeah. Or your grandma's, grandma's house. house. My grandma ain't gonna play no PS5. Or just don't pre-order. <laughs> just go purchase it at the store when it comes out. You know. Yeah. Oh yeah. That's you know they're, you're not gonna, they're gonna have plenty of stuff what? as well. Who goes to the store, JD? Get out of here. <laughs> Uh, you know, with the Rona, people still the go Rona? to the store. Uh, people still go to the store, believe it or not. All right, no, that's probably... gonna end gaming right there, and let's move on to sports. Home it's not a home run. run, 
touchdown. Yeah. Sports. Goal. Sports. 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 Jesus. Uh, so <laughs> Redskins are now why who put Redskins? They're called Washington. The Washington football team. Well, we, have to, we have to say what their what their what their previous name was so people understand why it was the Washington their name. football team, formerly yeah. known as the Washington Redskins, is now named the football team. That's it. That's yeah, it. So, like it's just the football team. The like, thing is, and they're selling merchandise, merchandise under yep. the football team. <laughs> Limited edition, well, ladies and gentlemen, go grab it. Um, uh, um, so basically, they're trying to figure out the name, uh, and they haven't really, you know, found anything as of yet. So they're just going at the Washington football team. They have a couple of names out there, uh, the like the uh, Sentinels and all this other stuff, um, which I think That's is a interesting. College but yeah. One, though. Mm, I don't know. Um, I don't Washington, know. Uh, for the love of Bob, get your ish together. It's not that hard yeah. to come up with a football team. Just name yeah, something. Yeah, or just just stay with the Redskins. Like, I mean, I don't see nothing wrong with it. Just yeah, stay I with mean, the you do, you don't, but there's other people that do. So you know, man, yeah. that's why they need to get rid Washington of Washington football. Just, um... Thanos, Thanos. Uh, but go ahead. <laughs> what? Uh, yeah, well, anyways, you know, so <laughs> Washington football team is the new name for now. But they need to come up with a better name, regardless. Like that's stupid. They are. It's a I process, mean, right now, you know? right now, it's just a marketing thing for them. It's like, hey, let's uh, sell some merchandise, you know, limited edition, and then uh, just to round yeah. up everybody, get on our side, yeah. and then move on to the next thing. But moving on, actually, Jamal Adams is traded to Seattle. Yes. Who is Jamal so, Jam- Adams, and what is going Jamal on? Jamal Adams is the Pro Bowl safety for the what was the Pro Bowl safety. For the New York Jets, and he's been disgruntled oh, for about two yeah, years. Who, who would want to say on the Jets? <laughs> well, he was their best player on the Jets. He was their best player. Man. Uh, he held that defense down. They're one they of the top the Super because Bowl? of him. Um, he was trying to go ahead and and leave and go to the cow, the cowgirls. I was gonna say another word, but he was trying to go to the cowgirls, and uh, the cowgirls are trying to make it happen. But it seems like Seattle undercut them and gave two first rounders for Jamal Adams, which is fucking big. Because that boosts up their defense. Keep in mind, keep in mind, they had that uh, Pro Bowl safety uh, Earl Thomas that went to Baltimore because he was unhappy with Seattle. Now Seattle has a young defense with a veteran who's a Pro Bowler in, in, in Jamal mm-hmm. Adams who can shut down the run, has great coverage skills. This is going to help uh, um, Seattle a lot. Now I wish Seattle would have invested more into their offensive line to help their quarterback uh, Russell Wilson. Mm-hmm. But in this case, this is a great pickup for them. They're 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 gonna be in the playoffs for sure. I have I don't have them coming coming out of the 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 East yet. I'm still trying to see who's going, but they're gonna be up there. They will be up there. What do you think, JD? I have no idea who the hell this is. Good so lord, you're moving on. The NBA scrimmages have begun. Hey, nobody watched football here, yeah, but you because somebody didn't put up a link for it. Today. But I have no idea who it is. <laughs> so NBA scrimmages are starting up. <laughs> it looks like Lakers are already losing again. Uh, yeah, they lost. They lost to Dallas. They lost to the Dallas but, I mean, Mavericks. It, it's, they're just scrimmages. They're like they're like preseason games. To yeah. be honest, uh, I just want to talk about really the environment. Um, if I don't know if you see the scrimmages, uh, yeah, in the bubble, they're very spread out. I don't understand why. If you're doing all this testing, you might as well just lump everybody together. But they have everybody six feet apart. Um, there's not a lot of cheering. There's a lot of squeaking of sneakers. The DJ no. is trying to do his best. They're playing music. They try to make it seem like whoever has home court advantage, whenever they make a shot, they hear like the the, the, the roar of a crowd. Yeah. Um, it, it's it's a little bit cheesy, but I know it has to be done uh, due to the pandemic. Yeah, football is doing that too. Or, I mean, soccer. Yeah. They, they're using so, audio from FIFA, the game. Yeah. So for, for me, it, that was a little issue because it just felt like, meh. It felt like I was watching a college game. Mm-hmm. But... Uh, I I did enjoy having sports in my life again. Yeah, that's so what I, I really like, what, that. What's this minor inconvenience? Like, you have your sports back. Yeah. Stop crying. Yeah. Yeah. So, <laughs> right. no, no, no. You're right. You're right. And so, you know, I've already planned, like, I'm, you know, with people that I know that I, I'm not, not really close to the Rona. Uh, here we go. Um, COVID parties. They, we, we're going to, you're going to have, like, little small get-togethers, watch some, some basketball. COVID parties. Hopefully the playoffs come around. But it, to me, it didn't seem that bad. I'm interested. I just don't know how... The announcers, because I was watching the announcers for ESPN. They're trash, bro. 
trash, bro. I need to see Jeff Van Gundy. I need to see uh, fucking Mark Albert. Like, I, I need to see them there. You know what I mean? I need to see Charles Barkley there. I like having those discussions with him and Shaq and Kenny the Jet Smith. So I, I hope they find a way to include that. Uh, yeah, because ESPN, the way they did it, they did it like like FaceTime like that. And oh, they just okay. had them on top of the screen. Oh, okay. Yeah, but it, it was interesting. I, I, I did like it. I, mean, I did catch did you watch one of these it in the games. Game, no, I don't. I don't really watch basketball. Um, it's it's it's. I mean, I love playing it when I was a kid. I just don't like. I don't like watching. It. It's just not entertaining for me to watch uh, okay. them play yes, it. Sir. So, but speaking of the NBA, Tom Thibodeau, head coach, now for the Knicks, he he didn't have a job. I thought he was coaching the Timberwolves. No, um, they let him go uh, last year after the oh. year season was over, and uh, he's been looking. He's been really coy about it because a lot of people thought he was going to come to uh, the Rockets. Mm-hmm. Uh, which I thought would have been a great pickup for the Rockets, honestly. Mm-hmm. Um, but I think he, he would have to... been good, but with uh, the guy that's still there right now, I forget his name. <laughs> uh, who, who are you talking about? What's his name? Uh, D'Antoni? D'Antoni. Only because D'Antoni doesn't do defense, but uh, Thibodeau does. So that combo, yeah, would, probably been, that, that, that combo would, have been, would have probably been good. But anyways, go on. Yeah. Well, he finalized a five-year deal to be the coach of the New York Knicks. And we know the New York Knicks have been trash for a long – almost as long as the Cowboys. Like a long, long no, time. even longer, bro. Um, even yeah, longer. even longer, I think. But uh, I think they're trying to get players to come back. They got a good coach in Tom Thibodeau. Uh, they have a great general managers now. And they're going to try, try to start building that franchise once again. Mm-hmm. And it'll be interesting because to me, in the East, outside of – uh, Boston, Philly, mm-hmm. Toronto. Mm, eh? Everybody else is like, meh. They're trash. So the New York Knicks being good would actually be a great thing for basketball. Mm-hmm. Okay. All right. And just to close out sports here, uh, baseball is officially back. Ladies and Who gentlemen, cares? we got baseball back. I uh, can't believe it. I'm so excited for Los. Um <laughs> Right, and that's uh, sports. I mean, look, we all know. Uh, <laughs> we all know that uh, baseball has a lot of cheaters, and I don't like. Them. Yeah, they're all cheaters sports. in there, bro. Everybody, you know, NBA could silliness. take a take a page from MLB though and start putting cardboard cutouts in the seats to make it look like they have a fan fan base. Do they? You know, I mean, th- those fans pay for that, don't they? I'm assuming. I don't know. They might. I might have. I don't know. I, I just, think they. I, I, I mean, look, why, why would Twitter they? put up pictures of, of the cutouts? Like, hey, they put my picture up there, in but we're gonna lie. charge you like five hundred dollars. <laughs> yeah. But anyways, yeah. uh, that's sports, ladies and gentlemen. Let's move on to our final topics here in pop culture. Pop, pop, pop culture. So there's a Mega Man film news uh, coming soon. What? Yes, and they haven't announced it yet. The the link is there. The link is there. So yes, uh, they, they're I talking saw. about they're gonna do a Mega Man uh, film soon, which uh, for us fanboys, they, the reason they did it was because I believe Sonic was was actually yeah. Oh, okay, decent. here we go. Here we go. This is from IGN article. Mega Man live action film is still coming, and big news is coming. Uh, again from IGN, it's been a while since we've heard any updates on the live action film based on Mega Man. Directors Henry Jost and Ariel Schulman have confirmed that it's still happening and that, quote, big news, end quote, should be coming soon. Uh, speaking to IGN's Terry Schwartz on IGN Comic Con at home live stream. By the way, Comic Con was this past week. Uh, for the film Project Power, Juice and Shulman were asked about Mega Man film they've been attached to since 2018. That shit has been going on since 2018, bro. I didn't even know. Yes, yes sir. Schwartz also asked if it was true that pro- uh, Project Power writer Matson Tomlin was on board to write the script. Hashtag yes it's true. Um <laughs> so I mean there's I'm a down. Mega Man movie happening. <laughs> I mean I'm down. I mean they, I mean we really don't know much. There's not really a Mega Man story, I think, mm-hmm. uh, in my personal opinion. Uh, so it'll be interesting. I mean, I, I didn't believe in Sonic and Sonic turned out to be actually pretty decent. I, I enjoyed the film. Mm-hmm. Uh, I love the product placement, so hopefully they'll do that too with Mega Man. Yeah, we'll see. I mean, uh, yeah, because I, I played Oligar Mega Man casually over the years, so it's, it's not. I don't like. I'm not really super into the story, but I think it would be interesting to see if they can do a good uh, video game, another video game movie, so they can do it right with it with an old old school video game. You know, so. hey, Sonic uh, game, everybody video game movies yeah. and Sonic, Sonic Two release date is in 2020. 
Sonic 2 just got a release date all the way in 2020, according to Polygon article. The list of things we know for sure about the second Sonic the Hedgehog movie is pretty much limited to the fact that we know it's happening. But on Friday morning, Universal gave us a new piece of information about the Tiny Blue Speed Demon second theatrical outing. Its release date turns out Sonic will dash back into theaters for its sequel on April 8th. 2022 hey man 22 or 21 22 oh that's a long time <laughs> you gotta long wait time. hey you gotta go faster time <laughs> gotta go faster yeah of course the time is not like sonic so speaking uh, yeah. of time though christopher nolan's tenant delay is indefinite yeah. No, but that's because of him. That's because of him. Yeah. I don't. I don't blame him. No, he he wants he wants it in theaters. But I think. But I think he's. Uh, there's also saying that there it, it, they will show it, but not in the states. I think it'll be somewhere in Europe where where COVID is less rampant. See, and and the problem is we just we we just reported on Walmart it's putting out. Well, Walmart's Walmart's still trying to do the drive-in thing. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Let's do that then. You know, partner with Walmart. Do the drive and they'll drive in theaters, put it out in drive in theaters so that people can still obtain and you know, observe COVID 19 restrictions <clears> and still watch the movie. I mean, you're still going to make your money off of it. People are going to get to see it in a movie style theater. A movie I mean, I don't know. I, I, it, it's being delayed because of him, his little selfish. I want it happening. Yeah. He is hot. Uh, and I'm like, but there's I other guess. movies too, you know. I mean, yeah. I, Look, man, if it's a good movie, it's always going to make money. That's what people don't understand in Hollywood. If it's a good movie, it's going to make money. I don't think for him you don't it's, have to worry it, about it's about the movie making money. He, he He's like, he's an artist, dude. You know, he wants he wants his painting to be on a on a canvas. He wants his movie to be in a movie theater. So He has made good movies. He's not, so he I, I kind of understand yeah. what he's coming from. But yeah, just give it to me on demand, bro. Stop fucking around. Yeah, right now he's just looking like a like a peacock trying to throw all his feathers. He's not doing a whole lot of good. So, <laughs> okay, um, uh, moving on. The G Four <laughs> Network returning. Does anybody yes. remember the G Four Network? I know. I, I absolutely do. I do. do. Um, let me just say this. Um, this is just my personal opinion, guys. JD and Elias have nothing to do with this. All right. I just feel like there's a lot of a lot of agendas being pushed through IGN and G4 back then might be different now. They might be pushing agendas too. And I don't want to be part of that. I hope it's just strictly about games. I don't want to hear about the way you feel uh, uh, socially. Uh, if you like this, or if you like that, or if you feel like this, or if you feel like that, I just want to see games like it was before. Um, and that's one of the issues that I've been finding out with TV shows. I don't want to hear your agenda. I don't want to hear your point of view. I'm here to watch a show. Or I'm here to watch the show about whatever the fuck I want to see or I like it to. Just my personal opinion. I hope G4 sticks to that. I like watching stuff on video games. The way they go into detail and depth on what, what it takes to develop a video game, produce a video game. So I'm looking forward to it. But what do you think, JD? I liked it just because, again, you were getting video games, you were getting tech, you were getting all kinds of different stuff. I mean, you had American Ninja Warrior. First, oh, not American, but just Ninja Warrior first came out on, on G4. From, mm -hmm. from Japan, so you found, I mean, that was always fun to watch as well. You know, I just, it had different stuff, but it always was entertaining to watch. You're right, it, it wasn't pushing agenda, and they were just goofy-ass people being doing goofy-ass shit, you know, or yeah. having, having fun while they were working, and that's what it always looked like. So, I mean, hopefully they can bring back that format and keep it the way it used to be, and Agreed. it can just go back to way, you know, basically just say, hey, we took a break for about 10 years, or five years, well, now we're back, you know, so we'll see, how, hopefully we'll see what happens, but, you know, I would like to see that old format come back. All right. Uh, uh, yes, G4. Hopefully, it comes back uh, with its shows. I think it's coming back with Attack Attack of the Shows coming back and X Play. Um, don't know about their hosts. I, I wouldn't mind new hosts. Just don't make them too yeah. fucking uh, Disney well, I mean, Channel. That was, that, that was kind of where Chris Hardwick got really big too. You yeah, know, Chris Hardwick and yeah, yeah, Olivia. Yeah. Was Olivia Newton? I think it was. Or, or, no, I forgot. No, Olivia Munn. Olivia Munn, yeah. That I mean that was that was what that was where they made yeah, the break. But Olivia Munn got popular because she was fucking hot. Like <laughs> well, super that too, fucking but, hot. But I mean right. she she was because it was on because she was on Attack of the Show doing stuff there. Dude, I was, I, I, was a, I was a so. teenager and I was like I was like what? I think I was like twelve. I was oh, like, we don't need to know what were you were doing Fucking fine, man. I was like <laughs> Olivia Munn was motherfucking uh, fine. Uh moving I, on I, I G4 hopefully comes back sooner than later. 
Uh, and yeah. closing out here, Obi Wan Kenobi series set to begin March twenty first. Uh, what uh, recording? This one like a start production. Twenty twenty four. It's March twenty one twenty one. So oh, okay, okay. So we're pretty close to, to the beginning. All right. Yeah. Well, yeah, we'll look forward to that one for sure. And just one more thing. I uh, just saw this breaking news. Shouts out to my boy, R.I.P. Regis Philbin. He just passed yeah. away oh, really? at the oh, age yeah. of 88. Yeah. Uh, this is from the People's article. Uh, Regis Philbin has passed away at the age of 88. Longtime television host died on July 24th. People confirm. Uh, quote, we are sadly, deeply saddened to share that our beloved Regis Philbin passed away last night of natural causes, one month shy of his 89th birthday, and quote, his family yeah. shares with people in an exclusive statement on Saturday. Damn, that sucks. Uh, that I, is. I mean, he, was uh, I, he was, yeah, he was definitely was able, like, on TV shows like uh, Who Wants to Be a Millionaire, uh, The Regis Philbin Show, oh, what was yeah. that, Kelly? I think, no, it was something. It was uh, like, Kathy and Regis. Kathy and Regis. Kathy and Regis. Regis. Yeah. So, yeah, I mean, he's he's been on TV for quite a long time, and eventually, of course, I think he just you know started to retire. But yeah, it kind of sucks. I, you know, I used, when I was growing up, I was watching TV. It was usually him. Yeah, right. But yeah, yeah rest in peace, Mr. Richard Philbin. Yeah. Um, yeah. So let's end it right there, ladies and gentlemen. Um, actually, do we have any more final? Oh, or any final punches, guys? Uh, well, I have some. Uh, guys, go watch Fire Force. Um. Season one and two, it's a really good show. You guys will like it. Uh, the one with out. the firefighters? Yes. Uh, don't watch that show, bro. It's just fucking, Fire Force is good. Fucking <laughs> <listen to> <laughs> fan <laughs> service. If you want to look, if you're a little teenage Force. boy like this guy is inside, and all you want to see is girls half naked, go watch it. It's not, they're not showing girls half naked. There's actually a lot of good fight scenes. And there is. The but because they want to add so much fan service, they fuck up the show. What fan service? I actually enjoy the show. Fan service is that bullshit whenever they're like, oh my God, my shirt is falling off. Okay, no, I don't don't (laughs) care about that. My favorite, the most hilarious part is one of those, uh, one of those firefighters, if he feels more, more knightly, he he gets more powers. So (laughs) they put like a donkey on his crotch. See what I mean? (laughs) And he thought he was, he thought he was a knight riding a horse. In his head, like that shit was that shit was making me laugh like a motherfucker. That's what I'm Anyways, saying, you guys watch that don't show, watch man. It, it's hilarious. I try, I try I watching it. Like it. I was like, the action scenes look cool, but then you get to those moments, I'm just like, oh god. I, I agree. There's some moments I'm like, Ugh. but yeah. I, I JD, um, you know, just the thing, you know, we weren't going to talk about it, but hey, I'm not talking about it anyway. Mm-hmm. Legend of Core is coming to Netflix. Ha <laughs> ha. <laughs> gotcha. No. Get him! Nobody oh, no. cares about the living yeah. Cora. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. It's no, I'm just kidding. If actually, it I, 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 Netflix here within the next month, so I do want to finish it though. I, I watched like the beginning of it and just got bored of it. I was like, <laughs> oh, and uh, also don't forget, Umbrella Academy comes out on July 30th first. The new season? Nah, but they still have that stupid ass bitch that I don't like. She's hard oh, wax. Jesus Ugh. Christ. Uh, for me, I guess I still have one in hyperscape, and that's still pissing me off. I broke my flute, broke, I, I cut my finger because I broke my flute, and I have blood all over my shit. Uh, <laughs> damn, else? bro, don't rage so hard. It's just a game. What else? <laughs> what else? So I, I had to put that thing in there with the uh, with the hump day show. Xbox, <laughs> get it together. Stop, yeah, stop, Xbox. stop acting like you don't want people to buy your console. And. Uh, <laughs> right. No, we love you. Get it <laughs> together, right. mate. All, All right. right, guys. Woo! All right, Peace ladies out. and gentlemen. Stay thank safe. you so much for watching Watch and listening. Watch out for the Rona. Make sure to follow us on Instagram, YouTube, uh, Spotify, Apple Podcasts, Twitter. Uh, where else are we? We're on Twitch. We have a Twitch channel we never use. Uh, and your mom. Uh, I don't know. We're everywhere. <laughs> Links in the description below on YouTube. Right. Thank you, guys. Have Peace a good out. day. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.